Here's a favorite water tube standing wave question, which came out a lot recently. So a loudspeaker make a sound wave into the tube initially full of water. So you can kind of imagine that, um, imagine the water is up to here, lah, all the way here. Right? Oh, there's more water down here. Okay, let's go. Okay. And then at the tap here, you open so that water slowly leaves the tube for some length of the air column. The sound heard is much louder. Why do we say much louder? Whenever you see this word much louder, it means that a stationary wave, or some people call it standing wave, a stationary wave has formed. That's what we mean by loud sound. A loud sound is heard. So the first loud sound is heard, first stationary wave, when the air column has length x. So you can consider it like, oh, this one is, uh, if your water level is at x, means already got some kind of wave that it looks like this, uh, already formed there. Okay, this is how we look at a stationary wave. How do I know it looks like that? Because this is the open end of the tube. At water boundary, it is a node. So you see, I draw a point here. This is node. This is NT node. You got to know that it's an open closed tube. Ah. Node here, we consider close. Close. Water is a barrier. It's like a wall. Okay. Uh, then, how to say? Oh, then the next time a loud sound is heard is when the air column has tube. Air column in the tube has length Y. Why is the wavelength of sound from the speaker? Okay, let's go back to the diagram up here. So at one point, your water level will drop, 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 drop until here. Okay. Then another loud sound is heard. That means, oh, just nice, you have added another loop in your sending wave. So it looks something like this. Recognize these patterns? Okay. So first loud sound, you got to recognize the pattern. Like, it's like that. Second loud sound, you add, you squeeze in another lambda over 2 which is actually this length right here. Let me label that. This, you add in a loop. It's what we call a loop. That means you add lambda over 2. By the way, why is it called lambda over 2? Oh, well, it's a shape. Ma. One full wave cycle is like this. Or in a standing wave form, this is one full wave cycle. This is lambda. So half of it is lambda over 2, what we call a loop. Ah, so you see this this pattern like eyes, you know, eyes. <laughs> okay, the annoying orange eyes. That's called a loop in physics. So how do we create an equation for the wavelength? What is the wavelength of the sound from the loudspeaker? Mm, we didn't change the wavelength, right? It's still the same wavelength. But there's one clue. You have x, you have y, and you know that lambda over two is the change in distance. So maybe that's a big clue there. Lambda over 2 is that red color arrow distance, which is also y minus x. Okay, distance increase is lambda over 2, so that's y minus x. Oh, uh, I think oh, we need wavelength. Okay, never mind. We need to do one more step. So lambda here will be 2y minus x. That's pretty much it. Let's go down and check the answer to see which one is the best. Answer. Okay, so remember, you go from one stationary wave to the next one, the next loud sound, you add a lambda over 2. That's going to be a distance. So the best choice here would be 2 times y minus x, which is c. That is the best choice for this question. Okay, hope that's helpful in helping you understand how to do this air column stationary wave, where the length of the column is changing longer, shorter. Very much like some musical instruments. Well, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.